Hey, Pit City Online. I'm really glad that you're back with us today. So my name is Miss Moni, if you didn't know. And to all my friends out there, I would love to wish you a very happy 4th of July. Now, this summer, we are talking about faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can't see. Mom, now, Mom. Yeah. I have a gift for you. Oh, do you want me to pay you back for this? No, it's a gift. It's free. Oh. I love you. Aw, thanks. Aw. So here's a weird thing. I just asked Xander if I could pay him back for a gift he gave me. Now, you know, like at Christmas and our birthdays, when we get gifts for that, we never ask him to pay him back because, you know, it's for, we know why. But when somebody gives you a gift and you don't know what it's for, like sometimes we feel like we have to like somehow pay that back. Um, but Xander said he didn't need me to pay him back because he loved me. Oh, it's great. This is perfect. It's going to help with my talk today. So it says Ephesians 2, 8, love Paul. Now, Paul, as you guys probably remember, we've been talking about him, he would write letters to some Christians in other cities. And those letters are now referred to our New Testament as we refer to them as books. So when Paul wrote the people who lived in Ephesus, those letters became the book of Ephesians. So Ephesians 2, 8, that's where it comes from. And we're going to talk about that. So the verse of Ephesians 2, 8 says, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. So I'm going to break that down a little bit because it has a lot to do with our faith. So it says God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. And we're saying that faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Now, grace, that is something that's given, that's undeserved. So when Xander just brought me my gift, I asked how I could pay for it back. And he said it was just a gift to me and I didn't have to pay it back because there's nothing I really could do to earn it and there's really no way I could pay it back because what he gave me was more than that. And grace is like that, it's God's grace it's something that he chooses to do because he wants to do it there's nothing you did to deserve it i mean let's be honest we all mess up we all make mistakes and if i had to earn god's grace well i'll be really honest i don't think i could i mean i can't keep my house clean all the time i don't always cook perfect and i make mistakes and we all do we all mess up sometimes so if i had to depend on on me doing everything just right to get God's grace, well, that would never happen. And it says God's grace has saved me because of my faith in Christ. See, God gave us Jesus because he knew that we couldn't fix our sin problem by ourselves. That was a, a debt none of us could afford to pay. So instead, Jesus came. And he did the work that we could never do. He did the work on the cross. He gave his blood to pay that sin price that we couldn't. And that's a gift I, can, I can't pay back. It's a gift you can't pay back. And that's why our salvation doesn't come from anything that you do specifically. It comes as just a gift that he presents to us because he loves us so much. And sometimes it's really hard to believe that he just did it because. But it is. He just did it because. And, well, Jesus isn't a gift for just some of us. Jesus is a gift for everyone. Jesus is a gift that is there that anybody can have. And anybody can accept it's just when you're ready to accept it that's the gift of salvation and it's how much Jesus loves us and you can't put it in a box it's not something that's gift wrap and perfect and pretty and it's nothing you have to do to be perfect either 
I know that sometimes that's hard to believe, but it's exactly how it works. I mean, if you think about why you give a gift to someone, you give a gift because you love someone. Most of the time, isn't it? Do sometimes we give gifts because we want somebody to like us? Do we sometimes give gifts because we feel like we have to? Well, the question I have for you is, why do people give gifts? You should talk about it, speak with your family and with your friends and see what they say. But what God says is that the gift of salvation, well, that's God's gift to you from him because of how much he loves you. So continue to look at the things around you to see how much God loves you because that's how you know that you have your faith. So I want to just tell you guys I love you, and I would love to say a prayer and a blessing over you as you head out this week. Father God, we thank you for loving us so much that you gave us a gift that we in no way deserved in your son, Jesus, Father. And Father, as my friends go forward this next week, I ask that you remind them of they are exactly who they were made to be, and there's nothing that they have to do to earn your love, that you give it to them willingly. In your son's name, we all pray. Amen. All right, friends. I can't wait to see you guys here again. Take care. Bye.